Toonsquid 2.0 is out, which will make it the best animation app on the iPad. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch artist. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new updates in Toonsquid 2.0. A lot of new features are added to Toonsquid 2.0, especially in the effects part of the app. You can now add filters to your animation in a non-destructive way, like Gaussian Blur, make adjustments with hue, saturation and brightness and contrast, pixelate your animation, use a chroma key for videos you shot with the green screen, add sharpness and use halftones. You can now rig your characters with bones. At the same time, you can add a mesh grid, a perspective grid and a warp grid to animate objects. You can add a drop shadow to your animations and animate it. Add noise, draw a path and let your animation follow that path. You can add a spin to your objects and loop it. And you can use a parallax effect on your layers. In this video I will show you how to use the filters, layer styles and the property modifiers. Most of the new features in Toonsquid 2.0 you can find in the effects panel. When you select a layer and I just have a, a PNG file with transparency and I changed the back color, then go to the effects panel by pressing on this little icon. There you can find all the new filters and I'm just going to go over all of the filters you can use. With Gaussian Blur you can blur your image and also animate it. There's an adjustments filter and there you can change the hue so you can change the colors of of your image. You can change the saturation so make it black and white or very bright in colors. And you can also use the sliders or just type in the number you want. Then there's pixelate so you can pixelate your art and make some interesting effects. But you can also pivot the X point and pivot the I. So you get a different kind of pixelation. So to show the filter with the chroma key, I imported an animation I made in Procreate Dreams. And in Procreate Dreams, you cannot export an animation with a transparent background. So what I did, I exported the animation with a green screen and you can of course you know uh, make a video uh, in front of a green screen and then use the chroma key filter in Toonsquid 2.0 so tap on effects and then choose chroma key and here is a, a color selected that's a green color and when you go back to the first uh, frame, you can change the threshold and then the background color becomes transparent and you can feather it. And you can also change the color what you can do is tap on this little circle and then pick the color then go back and then change the threshold and now you have a transparent background so I'm going to change the background color you can do that by tapping on background, go to color, and I'm just going to use uh, a different color just to show that 
you know, with the chroma key, you can create a transparent background. With sharpness, and I'm just going to zoom in, you can sharpen your image. And you can see that the image becomes a little bit sharper. And then there's halftone. And with halftone, you can use the dot halftone. Even rotate the halftones and you can change the size, rotate it, and also the bleed. And when you bleed it, then between the points, it get, gets filled up. But this doesn't have much effect. So I'm just going to delete it. So all the effects are non-destructive. So if you delete it, you don't delete your image. What I'm going to do is just duplicate this layer of this line fish and then apply the half tone on top of it. So it's on top of the other image. And in the animation layer, you can also change the blending mode. And when you use the blend mode soft light, you can still see the dots and you can also you know, change when you go to properties, you can also change the opacity of your blend mode. And then you can make some interesting effects on your animation because you can also animate with uh, all of these filters. Just gonna turn this off. Go back to the original layer. And there's one other filter you can use. And have to set it to symbol layer and not animation layer. There's a layer style, so you can use drop shadow. And with drop shadow, you can change the blur radius so it gets bigger. You can also change the color and also the opacity of the color. So you can also use it to make it shimmer. If you use a lighter color. And you can also offset your drop shadow in the Y position and the X position. I'm going to delete all of the, uh, the effects. You can do that by just swiping from right to left and then delete them. There's another filter set and that's rigging. So you can now use bones in your animation in vector layers, but also on uh, pixel layers because this is a, a pixel drawing. And when you choose bones, then on the left side, you get three options. The plus size is that you can add a bone and just draw it. And now it's selected blue. And now I can select another bone. And to the bones, you can uh, put some strength to it. And these are connected to each other. And with the bone with the arrow, you can change the position of your bone. But this really doesn't work very well because it's not much you can do. I'm just gonna delete this because there are other options to change your image or to animate your image. And that's the mesh filter. When you press on mesh, you get three options, the plus, cut away and change the points in your mesh. But I'm first going to draw a mesh around the image by just tapping and you can see that it creates a mesh around your image 
and here you can cut away some of the meshes if you want to keep it simple and you can add points to it as well. Here you can transform your mesh and you can use that to animate your your character. You can use the mesh but what I'm going to do is add the bones on top of the mesh. So I'm going to press on plus, select bones and now I'm going to draw the bones and now it's blue and when you select another bone then the next bone will be connected to the main bone and when you tap on the screen now they are both deselected and there's a hierarchy of the bones so this is the main bone so i'm going to use this as the main bone and then draw or make other bones. So I'll select this one, make a bone here, select this one, make a bone here, select this one, a bone for this, select this one, draw a bone, and so on. And when you select the bone, you can add strength to it. So the main bone has to be, has to have the most strength. Because when you now uh, want to transform the bones, you can see that you can animate it. And you have more options, you know, to animate with the mesh in place. And you can just, you know, play around with the strength of the bones. You can also, when you tap the, the end point, you can stretch it. So you can stretch your animation. And you can also add constraints to uh, the rotation of your bones. Now when I zoom in, you can see two uh, lines that you cannot stretch it further than this. And you can even make it smaller. So now you can select it up until here. So the left side is minus and the right side is plus and I need really need to constrain it. It's minus 10 and plus 10. So you can do that for all the bones if you really want to uh, fine-tune your animation and there's still some other things I will discuss in uh, another tutorial because you can you can also apply these effects to vector uh, shapes but now you can animate your drawing we're turning it around, stretching it. And when you press on this dot, you can move it around because this is the main bone. So this is a great add-on to Toonsquid 
2.0. In ToonSquid there is already a camera you can use to film your animation, but now uh, they have added the parallax effect. And when you select uh, one of the layers and select the parallax filter then already the camera will be added to the top layer and what you can do is set your images because this is a background with a foreground a middle ground and a background and you can change the position of your background and when you then use the camera just to if you pan your camera then the background will be more dynamic and you can change per layer uh, the depth of how far away it is so this is the back layer so that's farther away and select parallax for each layer filter, parallax and when you now use the camera so select the camera go to the transform tool you can already see what's happening and you can change the uh, the depth of the of the different layers but to have a subtle effect don't change the amount too much so now you can animate your camera make it a little bit smaller and then pan from above to below And when you now play your animation, you can see that there's a death in the scene. And there's also a full screen mode now in Toon Squid 2.0. When you press on the little two arrows in the upper right corner, you can see uh, the entire screen. Also, when you want to draw, uh, you have the whole screen estate to draw something. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!